Well, actually, I'm saying now, what is your opinion on Michael Morcock being considered to make a food movie for this right? Uh, I'm like, if, if Howard's considered to be a myth for this right, why not? But, more, but Howard seems to have more directness to it. Whereas, I think, what's the book, Dancers at the End of Time? Yeah, it's actually considered a Cthulhu Mythos book. Dance? I'm, I'm trying to think. Be, uh, that, no. I could say the El- I'd say Elric books probably... See, yeah, I would say Elric would be more of a how would be theoretically just in the high Hyborian age. Which I say you have to... that Which would include C- Cthulhu Mythos, which is my attitude. But yeah, Dancers at the End of Time is... It's so... That's a really weird one to put in... I was just wondering about it, because I haven't read it, but it was put in the scenes under Cthulhu Mythos literature. I was looking at them, like, they, they had listed all Michael Moore Those were only three that were considered to be. Um, two of them were, um, were Elric novels. Which makes sense. And then uh, Dancers at the End of Time. Uh, 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 weird of the White Wolf, and, um, the, uh, the one where he goes to, um, the one that basically is. I can't remember. Um, where he fights the one god. I can't um, remember. You know, the weird god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually supposedly the god of the Melodians, sort of like some ancient alien. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I told you that Michael Moorcock is writing a Doctor Who novel. So, that was considered to be a Cthulhu Mito story. And then I said, which, oh, yeah. which makes sense. I, and I read both of them, and then he goes, Dancing at the End of Time. time I was like, Dancing at the End of Time, that, that really is trying to, I'm trying to understand that because it's about. A guy who falls in love with a woman from Victorian England set in the basically end the end of time. And I'm just trying to fit out I guess unless some of the aliens are Lovecraftian but in their description. In that because there are aliens that come and they're like, you know, weird like, you know, limbs and stuff and I'm like, okay, that's kinda of Lovecraftian, but they don't act like elder gods or anything. They're they're very well, one of them is actually warning them about the end of the time, and then there's a group of aliens that come and just basically are marauders, and just like, we're going to rape your women and kill people, and... So much of uh, Elder Coman's coming around? Well, they're like all really short and have weird, you know... The, the reason that they're so powerful is they have these instruments that are... They're basically musical instruments that are also laser guns. <laughs> yeah. Um... And they use that to threaten people, kill people, and pillage. Because, like, they... Because King is considered to be a good human being that was right. Which... Dark Tower does... Oh, it. It is... It, it and is... Dark Tower and yeah. Stained. Yes. Would be considered. Yes. Um, who else did they have? They had a couple who were, they were kind of odd. Um... Well, obviously, Og is Duralith. Well, yeah, Duralith. I mean... And, um... Who else is the other guy? Uh, um, Yo Mama. No, he's a guy that he... Is <laughs> Yo Yo Ma. <laughs> Yo Yo Ma's poet musical compositions <laughs> summon Elder God. <laughs> um, I'll remember it anyway. They talked about him and then they talked about a few other people and then it was like... I was reading this thing on the blink was talking about the overall Cthulhu mythos. Um, Usually enough, this is Sam Raimi, but that's how you really lose. Cause Raimi said that he didn't read Lovecraft until after the first Evil Dead movie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and that's when he said he started incorporating aspects. Well, of Evil Lovecraft. Dead Two actually was pretty Lovecraft. Yes. Even Army of Darkness in a very Robert e. Howard. Yeah, movie. it's very much a Robert e. Howard type. Robert e. Howard meets Ray Harryhausen. It was Robert E. Howard as Bruce Campbell meeting Ray Harryhausen. Yes. I'm sure that that's exactly how Robert E. Howard would have won. He's like, damn! Like he was, if he's like, his ghost or something. He's like, he's like, like why couldn't that have happened to me? Why couldn't I be in Jason and the Argonauts? <laughs> <laughs> why couldn't I be blowing away zombies with a shotgun? 